بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما now the next thing we'll we'll try to understand the wsc models now now cisco come up with two different models we have a physical box we call it as physical model and these are the models if you visit the url you'll find these models and then we have a virtual models as well like the vmware file you can download some kind of virtual file uh, these are the virtual files install on any one of the servers like you can use cisco ucs servers uh, inside your vmware you can use a vmware application to open those applications and you can run it on any high end server also so you can visit this specific urls to uh, actually get into the so let's let's go to the web page here so these are two urls you can go to cisco wsa and compare models so the basic difference is like the size and the memory capabilities just like your routers you know you can you can see the options like different types of ports available the cpu and what is the ram capability these features so if you go to virtual appliance virtual appliance again we have different files so these are like features and depending upon uh, this is actually the physical model you can see s695 the product specifications these are like the hardware specifications again on the same url and if you're using wsav the virtual image again that that comes with multiple options here you can see these options and the disk size and what is the memory how many core processors involved in that so mostly cisco ucs is a specific hardware which is uh, which we can use but still you can run on any other uh, uh, hardware models as well now here you can see the same uh, models like if you're using wsa depending upon the number of users you can select the models if your user the number of users are less than 1500 so you can go with a low end model s170 and if your users increases so automatically you need to go with the high end model so the high end model required more ram more cpus and also more space uh, is generally required and these are the specifications here the ports the speeds it supports so similar way again if you are using wsa v the virtual depending upon the number of users if your users are less than 1000 so probably you go with this virtual image as as 000v and then you have 100v 300v like this so depending upon this and probably you use some cisco ucs that's something cisco recommends to use this m series models uh, content sma model so basically this this supports some more more users again so this is a specific on ucs servers so probably i'll i'll just uh, talk how to download by basically when i when i get into the uh, installation process there i'll be specifically sharing some urls from where you can download by using some kind of cisco account so by using partner login you can download these virtual images also in general again the performance uh, totally depends upon uh, specific features like what are the different features you are trying to implement like if you're using url filtering anti malware avc application uh, uh, visibility in uh, probably application and visibility control and the web reputation filtering so depending upon the license and the number of features you want to support so basically that is one major factor which will decide the performance of your wsa and of course the users the number of web request and the number of users and of course the bandwidth which is reserved for the web traffic so depending upon the number of users uh, basically the features will be similar in all in all the cases that that will not vary so the main uh, performance factor will be decided based on the number of users and the web request again so if you are looking for additional licenses again that will slightly degrade the uh, performance again so these are like the performance factors again you have to contact the sales and the partner representative representatives basically they can help you to determine the correct uh, model uh, which which can be used based on your uh, requirements 